Hey guys, so um, long time no video, but I have a thrift haul today. I just went thrifting today and I found some amazing things. I haven't been thrifting in a long time. Well, it feels like a long time, so I'm really excited to see what I found, to show you guys what I found. And yes, yeah, so let's get started. So the day before, so not today, but yesterday, I went to Value Village um, and I picked up two sunglasses. The first one, I saw, um, I just thought it would be really sort of 60s inspired. My mom said that um, her mom had a pair of these type of sunglasses when, like in her times. And I'm really into the pointy sort of, is that like a cat? A cat sort of shape? I'm not sure. But they remind me of those, um, those like point needle like um knitting glasses sort of things and i just love how it's red and it just feels really fierce this one was 3.99 so kind of expensive but value village is one of those more expensive places second pair of glasses was only 99 cents and it's a pair of these and they actually reflect which is really cool and they remind me of sort of like ski masks and definitely, definitely something I do not have and am so stoked. My sunglasses collection is definitely expanding and I'm definitely collecting a lot more sunglasses. Don't know if that's a good thing or probably something I shouldn't be getting into but it was 99 cents and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. So the next thing I got is really, really cool. It's this um, Chinese um, scarf silk scarf. I'm, I'm excited to play around with how I can style this even as like one of those things. That'd be really cool. Oh my god. Imagine. Okay, yes. That's gonna happen sometime soon. So yes, this was um, $2.99 but because clothing and I think... I, I'm not sure if that one was half off but I know clothing and shoes were half off which is why I went today. So what I got today I actually tried on yesterday, but I didn't get it because I realized 50% off, so why not? So I got this beautiful, oh, okay, it's gonna be hard to show, but I got this beautiful um, button up top. It's like a sheer top. It looks like that. And the sleeves. But what I really love about it is, are the buttons. See that? Those are gorgeous buttons and it's just something I would wear and just throw over. Not like, <laughs> I would just throw it over like this. Like they have gorgeous buttons. They have paddings. I'm going to cut the paddings out because it looks really boxy. But I would just throw it over like this. Um, maybe like belt it. I'm gonna play around with how I'm gonna layer it, but I'm really excited to play around with this I've been in a sort of like a style stump Style stump lately. That's why I haven't made any videos, but um, I don't, Every time I go to the thrift store, I just get all this inspiration and I'm like yes And I just feel rejuvenated This was only $4.49 So the next thing I got it was also $4.49 and it is this blue shirt that has gorgeous um, embroidering on it. It just, it's so pretty. And it's one of those things that um, looks good when you tuck it into pants or skirts or whatever. But it's also something I want to try and wear by itself. It's a bit short for a dress but it's quite long for a shirt so I'm gonna have to play around with that but that's kind of why I really like it as well. It's something I have to play around with, but I also think I will get a lot of use out of it. The next thing I have is actually a pajama set, and it was $7.49. I've been really digging the whole pajama as outerwear. This is the bottom. It's just purple pants, like that. And they're really simply made. I could probably make them myself and sew them myself, but I think the fabric is really gorgeous, the pattern's really gorgeous, the color is really gorgeous, and I can, um, and this is the 
top that came with it. Looks like that. So it definitely looks like a pajama set, but I can always wear the top on its own and it's bo the bottom on its own. And I think it's gonna be pretty versatile. I say versatile, some people say versatile. I don't know. I saw this dress and I was like, ooh, that's a really pretty dress. And then I checked the tag and I was like, that is a really pretty dress. So with this dress, it's sort of like a slip dress, which is something I have really wanted to try and play around with the layering aspect of it. So it's this gorgeous, it, it it's like a velvet material and it's, it, it's just so gorgeous. It is big on me, but I am going to make it work, honey. It was priced at $20.49, but because it was half off, it was like 10 bucks. But this is a Topshop dress, and it had the tag still on it. And I, I think it was the person bought it on sale, but still, uh, the sale price was $90 for this, and it's a Topshop dress. So I definitely know that it's a nice quality dress. Not designer, but definitely not Forever 21. I decided to look through the book section and I picked up four, five books. It was buy four books and get one free. And they're all so inexpensive. It was amazing. The first book I found is this Webster's Dictionary. Um, you can probably see it there. Webster's New World Dictionary, the American language. So this was uh, $2.99 and you feel like you're back in time. It even has that that like sort of smell, you know those like old musky library smells. Uh, <laughs> I just really like the smell of this book. It smells like an old library and I think it's definitely something that's really gorgeous to um, display. I really want to make a bookshelf for my room and it, I think this is definitely something I would love to display and it's also really practical. Not to carry around but just something to have. It's a dictionary. Who doesn't need a dictionary? I mean, come on. I've been definitely getting into bio lately and um, I've been reading Scientific America. I've just been really into the whole, just learning about biology. I'm reading a book called um, by Richard Doc Dockings and it's called The Blind Watchmaker and it is an amazing book. I haven't even gone halfway yet, but it's an amazing book if you're definitely interested in evolution, the theory of evolution and Darwin's theory and everything. I'm reading it for my bio project, but it, like, I'm so happy I am because I really enjoy that book. I think the person who originally had this highlighted a bunch of stuff, which actually I didn't realize this until I just realized this looking through it. I didn't really look through it that much. But hey, at least now I have something to be like, oh yeah, okay, so that must be an important section. But there's so much stuff. It's so cool. I'm actually, I'm so excited to read this. It's going to be a lot to read. But because I'm also learn, learning a bit about bio now, I'll be able to, you know, hopefully it's not too hard of a read for me. Okay, the next book that I found is one of those dummies book. It's Criminology for Dummies. And for grade 11, I chose my, my course that one of the courses I chose to take was forensics. And I'm really excited to see how that pans out. Maybe over the summer, I'll get this book cracked open and read a bit more about it. Um, all I know about criminology is what I know from criminal minds. And I don't know if that's the best reason to take it, but. I definitely like the psychology aspect of it and just solving crimes, I'm really interested in that. So Criminology for Dummies, I got it for $3.99. Um, another book is just French, English, Oxford Dictionary, always good to have, especially if you're a French immersion student. It was $2.99, definitely comes in use, definitely comes in use. And the last book I got, the fifth book I got, is The Field Guide to the Wildlife of Costa Rica. And I really just want to learn more about them and learn about about their way of life. It's it's so different and exotic animals are, are just amazing to learn about and how they function and how they how they work in society. I, I'm really excited to crack open that book. There's a lot of summer reading, but they're also just gorgeous books to have. Gorgeous books. 
So that's all I got at Value Village. I love thrifting for inspiration, even if I just go there to try on half the store and then leave with nothing, which is pretty much what I did yesterday. Um, you know, it's worth it because you get to try on a whole bunch of stuff that you never really get the chance to and fill that void, fill that need, and then just leave. At least I know I can do that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.